How do you use bowling tape? There's a number of different reasons why you would use it. One of them is to fill in the gap that's behind your thumb or for grip inside the ball as you're holding the ball. Your hand may contract or swell, and a good thing about the bowler's tape, you can actually take it in and out so you don't waste any of the product. When you're inserting the tape, the best thing to use is either a screwdriver or some kind of flatter object, be it even a pencil or a pen. You put it on the edge, you curl it up, and you have to make sure you insert it without it getting stuck to the sides. The proper position of the bowler's tape in the ball is the front part of the ball facing your fingers, where you would grip it on the inside of your thumb. You insert it inside about an eighth of an inch below the size of the thumb, or the edge of the thumb. Make sure it's contacted to the ball itself and you have that inserted properly. The other way of doing it is also shaping the thumb. You put the tape in the back, the back side of your thumb to contour your shape and also get a little bit more firm feel for a better release. Another alternative to bowling tape is the actual thumb tape that goes on your thumb in replacement of your insert tape. You have different colors, different textures, and different lengths you can cut. There are pre-cut products also. Proper way of placing it on your thumb, cut off about a two inch piece. You need to shape it to your size of your thumb. You peel it off. And the key thing is putting it on the edge of your nail so it doesn't curl up inside the ball. You stretch it out, you place it on your thumb, and this will replace the insert tape inside your thumb so you have a little more comfort feel. The texture also makes a difference too. There are thinner and thicker textures, also with different colors for marketing purposes. This will go inside your bowl. Those are some ways that you can use bowler's tape.